this morning, Afghanistan in the middle of the deadliest wave of violence since the 2001 invasion. 10,000 U.S., British, Canadian, and Afghan troops are trying to push the resurgent Taliban out of southern Afghanistan. Saeed Jawad is Afghanistan's ambassador to the United States. It's nice to have you, sir. Thanks for Thank talking you, with us. Why is the Taliban getting not just stronger, but so much stronger? Well, we see a spike in terrorist activities in Afghanistan for two reasons. The first reason is domestic. The national institutions in Afghanistan are not strong enough to provide services and protection to the Afghan people due to the lack of resources. And also regionally, we are, the region is becoming more and more tense in our part of the world. And the terrorists still have access to ideological and physical safe haven in the neighborhood of Afghanistan. And I think the third reason is more globally. The international community, especially NATO, is taking an important role in, in Afghanistan. And that transition from U.S. to NATO provide an opportunity for the terrorists to attack NATO and kind of test their political commitment and their military might. So let's break those three down even further. Is the answer more money from the U.S. or other sources? Uh, Afghanistan is the first front in war against terror. We, we cannot fail. We cannot afford to fail in Afghanistan. More resources are certainly needed in order to boost the cap capability of the Afghan security forces and to increase our ability to provide for good governance and provide services to the Afghan people. In that transition that you describe as the Taliban taking advantage of or exploiting uh, between the U.S. troops and to NATO troops, what could be done to hold off or stave off the Taliban? I mean, is, is, should the U.S. not turn it over to NATO? Uh, no, the fact that NATO is coming to Afghanistan is a sign of the consensus of the international community. We welcome their engagement. But when they are coming, they should become ready to fight. And they have to have the necessary capabilities, actually, to fight this war effectively. As I mentioned, this, and again, this is also a mission that NATO cannot fail. The Cold War is over. And well, this is the most important mission for humanity. Terrorism is not only a danger for Afghanistan or the United States, it's a danger for humanity, for European countries, for anyone. So that's why we would like them to, to, have, to come with a very robust mandate and, and all necessary equipment also to fight this war effectively and finish up this misery that the Afghan people are suffering. Given all that, then, do you think that there's not been enough focus on Afghanistan, that to some degree it's gotten lost in the arguments and debates over what's happening in Iraq and now, more recently, what's happening between Israel and Lebanon? That's true. We have had a very good start. A lot of, of good steps have been taking place in Afghanistan. We have an elected president. We have an elected parliament. And somehow people thought that, well, things are probably going well. And with the other crises starting other in other parts of the world, including Iraq and other places, Iran in our neighborhood, I think some of the attention was diverted to other areas. Do you feel that five years after 9-11, Afghanistan would be further along than it is now? Oh, we have come a long way, as I mentioned. Very long way, and yet it's very tenuous. It is. That's true. We are not out of the wood. We have come a long way. There will be, we will have a bumpy road ahead of us, but the commitment of the Afghan people is there. They truly would like to partner with the international community, with the United States, to, take, to make sure that Afghanistan will never go back again to the days of the misery, that we were a danger for ourselves, a danger for the region, a danger for the world. And I think if you consider especially the fifth anniversary of 9-11 coming up soon here in New York, so, so Afghanistan have made a significant progress. We have six million children are going back to school, 3.5 million refugees have returned. The political process is in, in place, but still... I was going to say, I, I feel like you're setting up well, but if, if the focus is not there... Yes, we, we might lose that. We are, we are facing the threat of terrorism. We are facing the threat of, nar of narcotics in Afghanistan. So truly, a lot of focus uh, should be paid in Afghanistan. And it's very easy to, war to win the war in Afghanistan. We have come a long way.